Hello vlog. Vlog number two in Italy. I just scheduled my first vlog. My first Italy vlog. I'm really excited. I hope that everybody likes it. We had planned on going to a museum today, but we didn't actually have the time to do that because we had to wait on a bunch of packages to show up at the house. I have everything that I need here. Thunder just needed two more monitors. So we got those delivered. So those are here finally. And I'm starving. And I've heard about this place called Salt and Boca a lot. People have been mentioning it a ton on Reddit, on all the social medias. Local tell me about it. It just seems like it's the place. And we ended up getting a reservation for tonight at 9.45. But now it's about 9 p.m. at night. So I'm gonna go live in a sec and then we're gonna head over there. I am really excited to bring chat with us. I'm worried the restaurant's gonna be quiet on the inside. <laughs> Hopefully we can eat outside and it's not gonna be an issue. So we will see. I'm just so so I'll keep you guys in the loop. You're gonna know what's going on. Uh, come on, come on. place called uh, Sultan Boca in Rome. The food here is really good. Honestly, the IRL streams have been going really well. Cell service has been peak with the uh, IRL backpack that we have. So it's been really smooth, 1080p I think the entire time and, and chat's really enjoying themselves. That means I'm really enjoying myself. If you're going on a real date, this is actual advice. Do not order anything that has a straw if you're a guy. Oh, because you look like a weenie. It's impossible to drink out of a straw and not look like a weenie. You do look like a weenie. You get a glass, you get a whiskey, right? You take a drink with it. You took a drink. You get a drink with a straw on it, and you're trying to impress the girl. She's going to get the ick, and she's not even going to know why it is, because you got to... We ordered tiramisu for chat. Chat is eating, well, they're not. We keep trying to feed them and they keep throwing it back up onto the spoon. So we have to like take it and then eat it ourselves. And it's like, it's pretty annoying to be honest, but it's been fun. They're just spamming Lick them? Oh, cause they're licking it. Yeah. They're licking. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Come okay, on. goodbye, goodbye chef. chef. We are late heading to our train. I never see the sunlight. This is way too early to be up. I keep passing people and I keep talking to myself. And honestly, it's not a good look, but you know what? It's fine. This is the fit. Not the best fit, but kind of like a travel fit. You know how like people when they travel, they normally wear crazy things. So I'm, that's the vibe I'm going for today. Like the pants are cool. It's just the spam sweater that's not really like the vibe. So we are sprinting to get to the train station to get to Naples. Once we're in Naples, we're gonna go to our Pompeii. And then also after that, we're getting pizza making lessons. I think yesterday when we were doing our IRL stream eating dinner, one of my viewers mentioned that this random guy who was trying to sell us roses, like he came out three times and on the last time, someone said he said that bitch again, which like, what did I do to you, you know? to the train station and it was really easy to get in here. There was no like security or anything. It's just you show up and you just go where you need to go and then they check your ticket on the train. It's so different. <laughs> Anyways, we're trying to find the platform we're supposed to be on because it doesn't say it on this, like the boards. So there's all these little boards like this everywhere and they kind of show you the plan for the week. We're gonna walk until we see uh, something that tells us where to go. Are you excited about our adventure today? Yeah. It's gonna be really cool and exciting. Yeah, we're we seem to find it. panicking because like this train is leaving right now. We're at this train and there's no platform and we have no idea where the fuck we're supposed to go. We know where we're supposed to go. Let's go. Oh, we're here. Oh, that was fast. I guess it's the bus. Huntington? Okay, hopefully the next clip you see is us on the plane. Plane? I'm gonna sit next to people we don't even know. Maybe. <laughs> it's a non-stop train, there's not a lot of people in the car. You don't think there's gonna be a lot of people? No, yeah, it's gonna be mostly empty. We're the only ones getting on the train in the beginning, and the train is actually 
scheduled till we use two minutes ago, so. We booked out an entire train just for our trip to Naples. I can't believe this. This is going to be so sick. We're about to have a hide and seek competition and then choose the winners ourselves. Who's going to win $100,000 today? <laughs> Did you just laugh and cough? Yeah. finished our tour of Pompeii and we are very late. I severely underestimated how long it would take us to get back to Naples to the point where we might actually miss the pizza making class. If we miss the pizza making competition competition class, we can book another one in Rome probably. That's fine. What are we gonna do? We also got in a random guy's car. He said he was a taxi. We got in the car and he's like, Naples. And he doesn't speak any English at all, literally none. And we're like, yeah, Naples. And then I go, Visa? He just starts saying ATM, ATM. And I'm like, oh, all taxis are supposed to have visa capabilities and credit card payment capabilities. And bro just didn't have that. So we were very sketched and we had to convince him to stop and bring us to a different train station so now we're at a different train station it's just been a whole it's been a whole situation we're waiting on a train but it's taking a long time actually a train just kind of pulled up and then literally just veered off right in front of us like it looked like we were about to be able to get on it and then it it apparently this is the best pizza place in the whole world and we went in there and we sat down and the guy was like do you want margarita pizza and then he just slapped a margarita pizza in front of us like it was already ready we really liked it but we're both exhausted we've just been running around a lot today i'm gonna say it they call themselves the best pizza place in the world they didn't have stuffed crust no stuffed crust no, no stuffed dips crust. no garlic dip you know what i'm saying but like 40 000 five star reviews on google counts for something i guess you know what we i mean we got our food instantly i can't complain about that well the guy came over laughed said margarita pizza Pizza, and we went, yeah, okay. <laughs> sure. And then he brought them over. They and then were he done just already. immediately slapped that. Like, I can't stress how much this man slapped the pizza in front of us. Found a random museum. I think it's the National Roman Museum. If you look closely here, you'll see a sculpture of Voldemort before he decided to ditch the bowl cut. <laughs> okay, what is it? <laughs> Oh my god, why is there nothing else than just a dick? It's pretty above average, I'd say. But apparently, back then, it was not sophisticated to have a large peen. So I, I don't know what that means, but maybe he's right, who knows? A lot of ass in this room. This guy's dick fell off in transport, but they found it. So they glued it to the side of his leg. I'm sorry, I turned the corner from the man who lost his dick and got it glued to his leg and uh, bro was cheeked up. Also, I'm never gonna feel insecure ever again in my entire life because if Aphrodite looked like this, like, I mean, if she's the most beautiful woman alive, like, come on. Like, she looks so good. This one is showing uh, an incredible example of uh, the inverted peen. Sometimes your dick would get slurped right up into your body. And this is what it looked like. If you have the same condition these days, uh, do not be alarmed. It's perfectly normal and has been for thousands of years. I can't believe they could do so much detail to the point where the dress looks like it's actually fabric. That's crazy. found the biggest knockers in the entire place. I'm sorry.
It's so crazy that they have like almost entire rooms of art that they were able to replicate. Not replicate, this is all original. But bring here and like kind of put on other walls. Like I just can't believe that they did that, that's so neat. But like even the roof of this room they tried to replicate. It's just so cool. Okay, Thunder just discovered something insane. Can you teach us? Because yeah. we've been here for like two weeks now. So this is a neat Italian trick that I just picked up on. I feel like I'm solving the Da Vinci Code or National Treasure or something, okay? <laughs> but Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. And the Airbnbs here specifically, okay? The lighting right now, as you'll notice, is actually really good, all right? Coming yeah. straight from the top. It's a white light, it's not, not a yellow one, uh -huh. and it's bright. Okay? Yeah. You can see where your shit is. Where right? your shit is? Whatever you do in the bathroom, right? Anyway, Ew. but if I turn the light off and back on, now it's a weird yellow. It's like a red almost. It's the same switch. It is like a red. You wash my hand. Off, on, now it's dim. It's <laughs> not as bright here. Same switch, off, on, dim, but it's the white light again. Okay, <laughs> here we are, Da Vinci Code, National Treasure, and if we want to round it back out to the good one, off, on, Bright lights, white lights, we're looking good again. You can see your shit. Thank you, Thunder. He just came, literally came to get me. He's like, come with me right now. You have no idea what I just discovered. And then I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, the lighting in the bathroom. I'm like, I know how the lights work, Thunder. And this is exactly what he showed me. That is insane. And next, we steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> we're in the wrong place for that.